Okay, who's ever seen a footballer juggle or wanted to even kind of do this? And I know Elizabeth and a few other you guys are in soccer or manage soccer, so you want to be able to do it too. And it may look easy because we do that a lot, but a lot of the time it takes extreme practice and time to actually master it. And by showing you this, I hope that you can learn to kind of respect soccer players a little bit more. I'm going to run you through all the basic parts of it. So the step on, the roll, the flick, and then the trapping. So to begin, I want to talk about the equipment that you're going to need. Since we're in a gym, I'm using indoor cleats and an indoor ball. The indoor cleats, you can tell, are just flat. It's for kind of just sticking on the surface. It helps you like, woo, everywhere. And, but if you're outside, you're going to use the hard turf or the hard ground cleats. And those are the ones you typically see with the just outward kind of cleats on it. And then there's also turf cleats. But, you know, every, everyone has their preferences, whether you like it outside, indoors, or on turf. And then also, what you need is a ball. And since we're inside, I'm using the smaller ones. These are meant for inside. They're denser, lighter, and just smaller because you don't have as much space. But if I was outside, I'd use the regulation ball, which is size 5 for high school guys. And now, to actually get into it, you can look at your handout. I'm just going to run you through it. So first of all, you have sticking your foot on top of the ball. And then you're going to roll it over, and then you're just going to flick it up. And now, for the positioning, what you do is you face towards the ball, as you can see I'm doing right now, with your dominant foot, as I'm using my right foot on the ball. And if your left foot, just mirror this. And that, that's basically all the positioning. Now to actually start the momentum. Like I said before, you just keep your ball on, or your, not your ball, your foot on top of the ball. Left foot is used to the left foot. And all of this is about momentum. It has to be one fluent moment, movement, like Elizabeth's speech. It just has to be one movement or it's not going to work. So you're going to stick your foot on top and then and then roll it up so that you can kind of catch it on your, the top of your foot there, on the laces of your boot. And then for the final step, that's actually flicking. So for the flick, you just flick it up like that. I'll show you that again. So like that, and then flick it up. And now for the final step, not the final step. And so I'm going to move on to the actual juggling. So once you actually get all that practice and down, you just flick it up. And you kind of have a little bounce in each step. And you can just hit it with the top of your boot, like so. Now a big important thing about this is that you control the ball and the ball doesn't control you. So if you're outside or indoors and you know, you're actually getting the ball up, you don't want to be chasing the ball, kind of. If the ball's getting out of hand, just let it drop and start again. But if you do control it and you have it under control and you want to stop, Instead of just letting it drop and bounce everywhere, what you do is you, you're going to have it juggling, like so, and then you're just going to catch it with your foot and bring it down. And how you do that is you keep your foot pointed up like this so the ball kind of gets in this crevice right here. And as the ball comes down, you catch it and bring it down. And once your heel meets the bottom of the floor or the top of the floor, you bring your foot down like this and the ball will just roll out. Looks a lot more professional than just kicking the ball somewhere and letting it hit someone or something like that. So, so now that you know the basics, it's kind of up to you to go and master the tricks on your own. And I hope this does open your eyes and show you that it takes a lot more skill than you think to kind of juggle a ball. And I'm not doing it too well because I have to do it slow for you guys, but uh, with even more practice, you can master some tricks on your own. Since you know how to do the basics now, the roll, flick, and trap, you can go out and amaze your soccer buddies who thought you were all a bunch of klutz. So, and uh, now you have my permission to feel like a baller. Thank you. <laughs> do it fast for us.